uh, we've been watching Cyclone Gita over the last uh, week or so and it has finally made its way towards us in New Zealand and it has already brought a fair bit of wet weather towards us. You can see on the satellite picture that big mass of cloud extending pretty much right across the south line. Even up north we've got a fair bit of cloud with us as we go through the rest of today and we've got plenty of severe weather warnings and watches in force, not just for the south island but also up on towards the north island as well. Now we've already had that rainfall running through Wenton and across and towards Nelson. You can see on the radar images those uh, heavier bursts through there. That is slowly sinking southwards as we head through the rest of this afternoon, giving a bit of clearance for Wenton. But we have still got those watches and warnings in place. Now the heaviest rainfall is likely to be down on the southern edge of that in towards Nelson, Buller, across in towards the Kaikoura coast and in towards Canterbury as well. You can see there's plenty of rainfall across the south line even as we go through in towards Wednesday as well. The system's still spiralling around each other. So even as we go through in towards tomorrow, particularly places like uh, North Otago and Dunedin, keep an eye on those forecasts. And with the return of some cooler air across the tops of the mountains, we've also got a road snowfall warning out for the Crown Range Road as we head through in towards those early parts of uh, Wednesday morning. But there is plenty of rainfall still in store as we go through the rest of today. Particularly for the likes of Nelson, Buller, across and towards Marlborough, on towards those uh, eastern sides of the south side, so for the likes of the Kaikoura coast down towards Canterbury, even including Christchurch and Banks Peninsula. Also the warning extends down towards North Otago as we go through the rest of Tuesday. If we take a bit of a closer look at those warnings for the rainfall, you can see they extend right the way across that northern part of the South Island. So places like Nelson and Buller and across towards Marlborough, right the way through to about 9, 10 o'clock tonight. For places like Wellington and the Carpeted Coast, the heaviest rainfalls are likely to be through that first part of the afternoon, easing off as we head through this afternoon. But as the wet weather continues to feed in towards Canterbury, Christchurch, Banks Mitchell, and even in towards North Otago as we go through in towards Wednesday. And like I say, we have extended that watch as well down in towards Dunedin and also the likes of Mount Taranaki as we go through the rest of Tuesday and in towards Wednesday. But it's not just that wet weather. As Gita moves closer towards us, we'll find those winds picking up this afternoon. Stronger winds, particularly for the likes of, say, Taranaki across towards Tai Happy Gus, perhaps 140 kilometres per hour in the most exposed areas, down towards Wellington. Also on the south side, where we're expecting them around Nelson, Buller, around Canterbury, and also particularly even around that western coast of the South Island Gust there, perhaps 150 kilometres an hour down that western coast of those downslope winds as we go through in towards the afternoon today. But again, a very busy map you can see for those warnings. If I move out the way there, you can see it a little bit clearer. The place like Westland and Canterbury, right the way through for the rest of this afternoon from about midday on Tuesday through until those early hours of Wednesday. Like I say, we could find gusts of wind, 150 kilometres per hour for the likes of Westland, so very windy indeed down that western coast. And similarly, for the likes of, say, Taranaki across towards Whanganui, some very strong winds as we head through this afternoon from about 3 o'clock today, Tuesday, through towards those early hours of Wednesday. And even down towards, say, places like Wellington, the Manawatu, Wairapa, from this evening, that's about 6 p.m. right the way through into about 6 a.m. on Wednesday. So those strong winds are still to come as we head through this afternoon, overnight, and through in towards uh, Wednesday. And we find the south east is there back towards, like to say, Fjordland as we go through the daytime as well. So some pretty strong winds still with us. The watch up north, I think we are going to find a burst of uh, stronger northerlies as the system runs through, but the strongest winds where we have those warnings in place. Now, this system, along with those stronger winds, will be generating a fair bit of a swell, and that moves down towards us as well as we go through the night time tonight. Combine that with some onshore winds and lower pressure, could be the chance of some coastal inundations, especially for those northern parts of the South Island as we go through the night time tonight. So, another thing to keep a close eye on as we head through Tuesday night and through in towards Wednesday. That's it from me. There's more at metservice.com.